All right, Shalom. Uh, again, first and foremost, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Yahweh Hey, uh, much respect to our elders and apostles, a great millstone, double honor to them, and peace and blessings to be blessed scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Doing this, working all sincerity, charity, and to glorify our Father in heaven, man. You know, that's what it's really about. <coughs> and really, um, the lesson that I want to, um, you know, bring in is how, you know, we were called into the, the light, man. You know, the the men that are in this truth, you know, the sincere ones that are called into the light because ultimately, man, we're walking in the ways of death. So yeah, how about seeing outside have mercy on us, man, called us into the light. And he didn't choose the, 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 the you know, the, the riches, you know, the guys that, that had got their consolation on this side. He didn't choose the guys that went to these seminary schools. No, man, he chose the bases. Okay, the ones that were hated. He chose the man that were at the lowest point of their life to come into the shoe, man, to show his power ultimately because the Lord wants to glorify his own name. You see? So um first off we're gonna get first Corinthians chapter one and verse twenty-six. It says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But Yahweh has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and Yahweh has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, right? So, you know, when people see us, man, they don't understand how we can break down the scripture with such precision, okay? And with such accuracy, man, it's because the Holy Spirit, man. The Lord is stretching forth his hand a second time to call back the remnant, all right? And honestly, he's bringing back the apostles, okay, and, and, and the... Um, the prophets to basically break down the scriptures man okay and it says verse 28 and base things of the world and things which are despised has Yahweh chosen and things which are not to bring to not things that are that no flesh should go in his presence man so you know the Lord didn't choose the, you know the Israelites that don't sold out on this side to do this well man no he's chosen the man of his own heart of his own mind to push his truth okay to bring out this doctrine okay Con, con, brother. If I could, and then if I could add to verse twenty-eight, real quick, it says, "And the base things of," it says, "And the base things of the world and the things which are despised have the most high chosen." So you have to remember that this world is totally opposite of the Lord, and the things that the Lord chosen, a lot of men are basically against that. You know, even um, within the truth too. You know, like the scriptures say that the, the Lord will give you passes to his heart. So a lot of things that the world despises and most has dealing with. The Lord deals with the underdog. Go back to uh, David and Goliath. When they looked at David standing there and shit, you know, they say, this, this little guy, you're like, what the hell is he going to do? You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's just how the world is looking at us right now. Like, well, who the hell is us? Who the hell is we? But the Lord has basically been with us the whole time. Go ahead, mm -hmm. brother. This is John 15 and verse 18. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So when we bring out the scripture, man, the world hates us, man, because we're coming in the vibration and the spirit of Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, okay? Which the spirit of Yahweh Bashin Yahshai is, is completely contrary to, the, to this world, man, okay? Because the wickedness that, that this world was built upon, man, this, this society, okay? It says verse 19. If you are of the world, the world will love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. See, you want to stand on that? Yeah, uh, con, because uh, we're not of this world. And uh, basically, when we do these videos, you know, personally myself, I'm going to say that uh, I'm only doing this aiming at the, the Lord's elect, the, the intermediate to the advance. And for you brothers that's just coming in, it's just best you just sit back and listen, man, and get a notebook and a pen and pad. Because this this truth is not just for everybody. So I don't I don't care about everybody uh trying to learn and, and this, that, and the third. It's only for a few men. And that that's all it's for. You know, everybody else, I'm not trying to get a, a a major big following. I'm not trying to be a YouTube celebrity or none of that bullshit. This this is just for the men that really want to learn, that that actually believe in the lord because you kind of find out that a lot of men they don't believe in the lord they they they, they take this truth and it's just something to to make they self 
to be extinct, you know, and it's not about to have any father. They're not glorifying the Lord. They, they just want to glorify them. God, they, they self. And that's why I say, you know, this truth is for us. It's for the, 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 the men that really uh, believe in you. How about Shimei al It's for the, the intermediate to advance, you know? So, I mean, that's who that the Lord is dealing with, the elect, the ones that's, that really that love him the scriptures say if you seek me early i love them that that love me mm -hmm. so us brothers the, as the scriptures say the ones that have been seeking the lord early that means we've been doing the work been, leave, been believing in the lord before the calamities came we didn't wait until the, till the calamities came and then start calling on the lord like a lot of you guys are going to do we, yeah. we've been, been believing in the lord before the calamities go ahead brother this is john 17 and verse 5 and it says this is yahweh side speaking and now, O oh, Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Okay? Because the outside, the, the Father basically made a pact with the outside, okay? Okay, he's going to come down here in the flesh, okay? He's going to take on the sins of Israel, and then he's going to be glorified. He's going to stay on the right hand side of Yahweh. Okay? It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou, and thou givest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee, for I have given unto them the words which thou givest me, and they have received them, and, that, and have known surely that I came out of thee, and they have believed that thou didst sent me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying. And all mine are dying, and then are mine, and I am glorified in them. Right. So, you know, it, at the end of this thing, man, to conclude, it all goes back to the elect, man. Yahweh Shai said, I pray for them, not for the world, man, okay? Yahweh, it's going to come to find out that Yahweh Shai is only dealing with a small sanctuary, man, which is the elect, okay? And, you know, we got bad apples and, you know, we got uh, uh, rotten fruits in this truth as well, man. By the end of the day, it's going to be known who are the Lord's chosen, you know? Because the Lord is going to separate them. Uh, it talks about the angel in Revelation who's going to separate it. Uh, Matthew Slock here. Who's going to separate the um, the sheep from the goats? Con, I got this precept. There's uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24. It says, But let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. And that's what we glory in, that we really understand the Lord and his ways. And the more we go through trials and tribulations and get through those things, the more we understand the Lord more. And it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop at a certain point because you learn so much that you feel like, oh, well, I know so much now I don't have to learn anymore. No, it, it, it keeps going and going and going. You, right. you keep uh, advancing the new levels. It says that I am the Lord was exercising loveness, judgment, righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, says the Lord. So, That's right. So that's what we're glory about. We glory about that we understand the Lord and we, and we, we know the Lord is with us. That's what we glory in. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, man, we don't glorify ourselves, man. You know, in 1 Corinthians, the scriptures say, even Paul, when he was, uh, you know, talking about the epistle to the church in Corinth, he said that he wasn't glorifying himself, you know. Um, even though he preached the word, you know, he's a um, unprofitable servant, okay, because this is all to glorify the name of the Heavenly Father. Right, and that's what the Lord said. The Lord said, um, this is basically our reasonable service. It's just something we should be wanting to do already. And then that's why, I like, to me, you know, when we do these lessons, you know, like I say, Ella Gabar, he has the daily edification. Then you have certain brothers doing videos uh, daily, as the scriptures say, day in, day out. Um, this thing is, is in the chore. It's, it's, not a, it's not a chore. It's not something that we look at it as, as some as as like it's a burden it's something that is like hey man let's get the lord's word out man i'm glad to, i'm honored i'm not gonna say proud to do it i'm saying i'm saying I'm, we're honored to do the work of the lord because that's right this is something that that's needed to be done nobody else is pushing the 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 the, the, the true understanding of the scriptures or the the, the the true knowledge of the heavenly father that's that actually have the spirit of the Lord on them to teach. Nobody else is doing that. So if you have the spirit on you to teach, you're going to teach it. And then we went back. If I, my bad. If you go back to uh, what we was, what we've been saying is, you're only going to be able to teach if the Lord put the spirit on you to teach. If, you, if it's not in you to to do what you're supposed to do uh, daily or, the, or or whatever it is. That's because the Lord doesn't need the spirit to do that. And that's just what it is. Matter of fact, because you can't fake teaching of the word of the lord man it's something that the lord got to be with you on to do it 
and you know as hard as you might be able to try to to, to try to act like you in the spirit it won't work it won't work if it, it got to come natural man it got to come natural go ahead brother this is first corinthians uh 12 and let me start at verse bear with me right then if i could say too like i said a lot of guys come in that saw spirit so Saul wanted what King David wanted. Ultimately, he, he wanted to beat David, King Saul. You know, Saul wanted, wanted to, to slay David because of the spirit that David had. Like I said, David had to run to the damn cave and hide. He had to hide out. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because you have Saul, just like today, you have a lot of Sauls out there. And there's more Sauls out there than it is spiritual Davids, man. There's more Sauls out there, bro. The scriptures say six... 6.66%. You have a lot of that percentage in this truth. And you like I say, man, over the half of the brothers you see teaching this word, man. A lot of these guys are a Satan, bro. And you get you have a reason why uh brothers can't do videos and shit, like I say, because you, you got Satan in there, bro. Satan ain't trying to do videos, man. You think Satan really wanna do some videos? Hell no. You think he worried about the daily edification? No, man. He, Satan is thinking of a way where he could try to break that up. That's what Satan is trying to do. Because what did the what did the Lord ask Job? He said, uh, 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 "The Lord asked uh, Satan. He's like, hey, where you come from? He's like, going to and fro on the earth. What what you was doing, going to and fro on the earth, trying to like cause division, cause bullshit in the earth. That's what that's what Satan was doing. That's what he set up to do." So what do you have, King Saul? King Saul was what? He always wanted to slay David. He always wanted to what? <coughs> be David. He wanted to take David's place. He wanted to slay him. Why? Because of that jealousy, that hatred, that envy. And so you have two opposing forces, man, in this world. You have good and you have evil. And the good and the evil is playing itself out in the street. Yeah, go ahead. Come on, come on. Hey, I got First Corinthians uh, chapter 12. And let me start at verse verse 3. It says, No man speaking by the spirit of Yahweh calleth Yahweh shall curse. And no man can say that Yahweh shall is the Lord but by the Holy Spirit. So, like the brother was saying, man, the Lord has to ordain you and he has to give you the Holy Spirit for you to preach, man. And if you don't got the Holy Spirit, then the Lord ain't ordain you, man. You know, you can't force yourself to be a man of the Lord, man. It all comes back from the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Also, man, hey, it goes into the traits of how the man of the, man of the Lord is going to be, man. You know, the man of the Lord is not going to be uh, 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 popular, man. You know, the man of the Lord is not going to be uh, liked, man. You see? Uh, I got 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. It says, For I think that Yahweh has set forth us, the, the apostles, last, as they were appointed to death, for we were made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Okay, we were made a gazing stock unto all people. It says, we are fools for Yahweh's sight's sake, but you are wise in Yahweh's sight. We are weak, but you are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and Con, are naked. Con, I'm going to say, we're honorable, but we're despised. And no, we're, we're honorable because we actually have the, the true words of the Lord. That's right. But we're actually despised on a level by these heathens, the other nations, and by our own people, man. Because... If, if they hated Yahweh Shai, what do you think they're gonna do to you? They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna hate you worse. You're not Yahweh Shai. They're gonna hate you worse, man, because you have the words of prophecy, and it's 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 and it's not it's not your fault that the Lord, you know, gave you the knowledge and the wisdom. You just you just it's just on you to teach, and it's like you hated for that, man. It's it's not even us that that gave us the ability to be able to understand these things, and and you know, men they really hate that, man. You. When you really teach this truth, you really become enemies of our people, bro. You really do, because a lot of our people, they're, they're not in it for your house shot. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're in it to, to, to win themselves, to, to, to win over their own goddamn um, uh, bellies or whatever. Go ahead, brother. Con, con. It goes on to say, even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted. Okay, now we're buffeted means to beat down. Be constantly stricken, and it says, and they have no certain dwelling place, and labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world, and all the offscoring of all things unto this day. Kinda, that's how the world looks at us, man. The world looks at us as we ain't shit, we ain't nothing, man. We're not worthy. You guys are a 
our palms. You know, you guys are this, you guys are that. What are you doing? You know, we'll get a job type shit. And our, you know, our, then that's from our own people, man. Our own people look at us. And when you see Esau, you know, Esau, they they, gonna, they might be the devil. I mean, they're the devil. But when they go by, when they see you out there teaching, the ones that scoff the most is your own fucking people. When they when they come up there with their bullshit. Yep. You know, the white man, you know, he's a devil. But our people give us the most resistance out there on the highways and the hedges, man. Go ahead. Bro. Right, that's right. Uh, you know, and it's also, it's a good thing that, you know, we're putting this type of predicament, man. Because the men of the Lord, the apostles of old, you know, our forefathers, they went through the exact same thing. You know, this is Matthew 5 and verse 3. It says, Bless are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Bless are they that mourn now, for they shall be comforted. Right, and true brothers in this truth, you're mourning, man. You want to get the hell out of here, man. Like, you don't want to stay here, man. Like, there ain't shit else. Hey, shit that you want to do here to fucking, um, to, 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 to stay here, man. You, you want to get the hell out of here. Ain't nothing here left for us, man. Con. You know, true brothers with this word, you know. Con. Go ahead, bro. Con, uh, bless five, it's like you. First five. It says, blessed are the meek, come. for they shall inherit the earth. Let's keep going. It says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Oh, the water for the angels. The spirit turned them around. It says, Bless all the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yeah, that was beautiful. The spirit got their ass out of here. You're talking about real quick, man. Hey, that's the spirit of y'all about seeing y'all saw, man. Hey, that's beautiful. You yeah. have to be here to see that, bro. Con. They ain't fucking did a 360, man. The most high protects us, bro. Yeah, believe that, man. And that's how it's going to be in these. Uh, and these end times of martial law and shit like that. Now, if I could say on another note too, you know, a lot of guys gonna be worried because a lot of a lot of men wasn't steadfast in the truth. They wasn't high for this truth. So when martial law comes, yeah, you gonna be nervous and motherfucker. Hey, you gonna have Jake in martial law? You know, some of the guys in this truth, you gonna have Jake like uh, in, in with Malcolm X with the AK by the window and shit in that Malcolm X movie. You know, Malcolm X had that AK. He was standing by the window looking out the window and shit. Hey, right, they're gonna be worried, of, man. Yeah, they're gonna be worried. That's what I'm trying to say. Because a lot of guys really didn't have faith like that, man. Come on. You have guys like Zabak, Nate, and all them like that. What was Nate saying? Nate said that. Uh, Ain't gonna be no Jacob Trouble. Right, but then he came out with a video where he said, store up canned goods, dry foods, and shit. That's what he was saying. I got that a, doomsday I, prepper spirit. Yeah, on that doomsday prepper spirit because he didn't have no faith. <laughs> and then going back years ago, like four or five years ago, he came out with a video saying he was actually talking down on being faith based. Israelites as being faith based. He was like talking down on it. Like, oh, are you going to use faith? Why are you going to use faith to do this? And do this in the third. And so if, if we faith based, then what, what are you then? What do you think this is? Um, Go ahead, brother. Hey, scripture say, you know, the just are laid by faith, man, you know? Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 3. That's what the brother's talking about, man. Every man's work shall be made in that day, okay? Um, verse 13, it says, let me start at verse 10, actually. It says, according to the grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. Uh, this is the Apostle Paul talking. It says, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Okay? It says, For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay? Right. And if I can say, that's why you really have to follow what the apostles is doing. You have to follow how they set the, 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 the that's, groundwork. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they set it up for how you're supposed to do it. And, and if you follow that, and then just, let's hear just say, uh, Stick for what you have learned, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't fucking twist the doctrine up. Don't come when don't come in another spirit. Come in the same if you come in the same uh spirit as the apostles with no uh deceit in your heart, just a sincere uh a, 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 a sincere spirit and you keep that spirit, it's nothing that you're not gonna be able to do. But you know, you're gonna go through trials and tribulations because it's all about being built up, you know. Yep. It's all about being uh, you know, chopped down and being built back up again the lord builds you up he's not gonna chop you down and then hang you out to dry to die in the streets and fucking where the lord here break you down and he'll build you up he'll give you blessings here and there to let you know like hey i'm with you 
Oh yeah, and another note too. One time um I was going through something. This was last year. And I was really going through some heavy times and and uh I was at work on my ladder. You know, cuz I do construction or whatever, but I was up on my ladder and I heard one of the brothers videos. And he was like, it's all right, brother. I know some brothers might be out there alone who I can ban, but hey, it's all right, man. The Lord is with you, this and And that really touched me and shit, because I was like, you know, I was going through some heavy shit, like, in my mind. And I got out that ladder, man. The Lord fucking, it was like a, a bundle of money. It was like 140 bucks. For real? It just sitting there. And I know it was meant for me, because when I came down from the ladder, with wasn't nobody around me. And I just saw the money sitting there, and then... I was going through something so hard, like it was like so heavy, the spirit, I was just, I was kind of weeping in the spirit, you know, cause I was going through some shit. And uh, I found that money just sitting on the fucking ground. And that was kind of like the, the, the Lord telling me, hey man, just calm down, it's all right, man. It's like 140 bucks. I just found it and I just I put it in my pocket. That cheered me up, you know, put some gas in the car and shit. But you know, the Lord would do certain things for you to show you like, hey man, it's all right, don't, don't fucking, extra worry about that you just you know it's just it's just a trial you got to get through you know what i'm saying but yeah that's what happened man and i at that moment i was i was really uh troubled in the spirit and shit because i was going through things man and the lord just to show you like hey man just calm down everything's cool you know i you know i found that 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 little money and i never heard nothing about it from nobody nobody said like hey have you found some money this then the third i have some money sitting around this then the third but it's just a testimony of what the Lord will do for you. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to do your best, and when you sometimes you might be heavy in the spirit, and the Lord will calm you down. Like, hey man, just relax. You know, so like an angel set that shit down on the ground or some shit. But you know, that's why we know. You know, this thing is real, man. The Lord will be with you if you're sincere, man. If you're totally doing this from the heart, and you can't get in this truth and act like you're not gonna do nothing wrong or you act like you're not gonna go off every once in a while or or, or you know because demons hop on everybody man especially you in this truth you know demons even hopped on king king david i'm not gonna use king david as a as a, a scapegoat or nothing like that but just to show you like hey man we're we we're in these bodies and we we're gonna make mistakes that's that's uh, another thing is too man the lord will put the spirit on you to make a mistake so you can learn from that shit so you could actually grow from that. And another thing is too, he probably won't put mistakes on certain guys because later he probably won't just destroy their ass. And if us brothers getting buffeted and going through things early for our things, just like the scriptures say, we go through our things so later on we won't get judgment with the world basically. So that's a lot of times what the Lord does too. He'll put us through certain things so we won't have to go through it later. You know what I'm saying? So we might get buffeted now, so later on like we don't have to get buffeted like that. You know? Um, yeah, I got Luke 17 and verse 10. Time, it says, So likewise, ye, when you shall have done all those things which are commanding you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. You know, so hey, at the end of the day, when we do the works, man, you know, hey, the Lord said, Make your bodies a living sacrifice, man. This is our reasonable service. Because at the end of the day, the Lord is about to glorify us uh, beyond all that we suffered in this life, man. Because the scripture said that this life, Babylon, is going to be like a dream. It's going to pass away, man. We're going to wake up upon our beds in the kingdom, uh, uh, praising the Lord, man. You see? So this is our reasonable service, man. It's no, it shouldn't be very, you shouldn't be getting vexed to do the work, you know? The Lord said do it, commanded us to do it, man. And you know the Lord's shutting things down, man. And things are slowing down. Um, you know, Esau's coming out here uh, trying to shut down YouTube and shut down the, the main platform that we have to push out this truth. Okay, so we see things slowly uh, coming down, man, because this is the Lord basically saying, you know, uh, things about to ramp up. You know? and, 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 and once once all this shit shut down, then you're not gonna have platforms to try to make it seem like you the man and shit. Uh, yeah, you can seem like you the man, but do, did you really have faith? Like, was the Lord really with you? That's what really matters. So, I mean, you can get all the glory. And the fame on this side or whatever the fuck you want but what i really as the scripture said we glorify and if the lord if that we know the lord and the lord is with us that's that's what this thing is about is the lord really with you is that power on your side you know fuck that being glorified and having 
you know, the likes of men. It's not about that, man. Because what the apostles say, men can't save you. Men can't save their own goddamn self. So you trying to justify yourself in front of men, man. You better justify yourself in front of the Lord. You better get, you better do what you can so the Lord can be with you. Because the Lord is going to do miracles, man. The scripture says it's nothing impossible with the Lord. With men, things are possible, impossible, but it's nothing possible, impossible with the Lord, as the scriptures say. So that's what we want to, to, to get brownie points with, the Lord. And I'll tell you this, too. When you get through your trials and your tribulations and things you go through, that brings you closer to him, man. He said, okay, he didn't drop his flag. Because guess what? The Lord programmed you, certain of his men, the elect. He programmed them to go through certain things to build them up. You know, and he knows how much that man can handle and how much that man can cannot handle. So the Lord have programmed certain men to go through certain things to make them stronger. So a lot of things, a lot of times when you when you in your shoes and you dealing with certain things, other men can't even deal with the shit you're going through. Because that's your walk. That's what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? So the harder the walk is, the more better the the, 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 the prize is at the end, man. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. It says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Right, that's what the scriptures say, constantly endure. So that means don't cast away your confidence when you're going through them trials. Don't just mm -hmm. be quick to throw your jersey down and shit. You know how Jake, they be in the game and shit, they get mad, they throw their jersey down. Like, I'm out of here, I'm not playing no more. You start losing. Yeah, that, that fucking give up spirit, the fucking that t that tantrum spirit and shit. A crybaby spirit, or you want to just give up? No, man. Hey, just like uh, the most I made a pact with, made a bet with uh, Satan, man. He said, Have you tried my faithful servant Job? So right now, it's like uh, 144,000 Jobs out here, man. Yeah. And the Lord is looking down on us saying, Have you tried him? Have you tried him? You know? Because if you're walking in the ways of the law, statutes, and the commandments, the Lord's going to be like, Okay, well, I'm going to see if he can get through this next obstacle, if he can jump over this hurdle. See? Yeah, and the one thing is uh, the Lord is seeing if seeing who really believe in Him. That's that's what's happening too. The Lord is really seeing seeing who actually really believes in Him. Man. You know, you got a lot of phonies out there, and a lot of men are being really put to the test. And some men are getting through those tests with flying colors, and that's just making their faith their faith flourish, and that's making their relationship with the Lord more more better. Come on, come on. Um, back in Hebrews 10 and verse 36. It says, For ye have need of patience that after you have done the will of Yahweh, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. For we are not of them who draw back or to perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Okay? So, hey, we're not of them that draw back, man. Because, you know, if you come to this truth, man, you're doing the work. But then, you know, you let the cares of this world draw you back. You know, you were never the man of the Lord in the first place, man. And none of your works are going to be remembered. You see? Lord, the Lord's not going to have any pleasure in you, man. All right? And ultimately, your future is going to consist of you being destroyed. You know? Okay. Right, That's why we have to keep enduring this truth, man. All right? Um, I got Hebrews 12. Let me just start at 6. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. If he endured chastening, you have what deals with you as with sons. Right, so it's a, it's about going through those afflictions. When nobody else is 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 believing in you. When when you when you're back against the wall, when it seems like the Lord is is is, is, is putting hell on you, it's about you standing uh, firm and, and continue on through it. Because each time you get through those, like I said, like we just said, it brings you closer to the Lord. And that's what only that's what matters is the Lord is being with you, is close to you, man. And when you know the Lord is with you, man, that that is that's an unstoppable force to have the true power dwelling with you, to, to to have the Lord on your side and to know the Lord is dealing with you, the Spirit is working with you. That's a beautiful feeling. Ain't no other feeling like that in the world. And guess what? That feeling just didn't come to you just by coincidence. It was ordained to you before you was born on the face of the earth. So now you in this time, it's manifesting to you by certain things that's happening in your life. You can actually see that the Lord is with you. He, the Lord is with you, man. 
But the Lord with you, man, that ain't you really it ain't no losing with the Lord with you, man. Everything is a game. Everything like we say, L's is not for losing, man. L's is just for learning. That's all. L's is just for learning. And you learn and you, you get stronger from that. Yeah, man, the Lord's uh chastening us right now, just like the brother said, so that we won't be judged with the world, man. Cause we're gonna go through our hell right now just so that in the, when time comes, okay, we can be, you know, protected, man, by the angels, you know. So that we won't have to be partaking in the. But we protect it now. We protect it by oh. the angels now, bro. Come on. Come on. on a daily basis, bro. You know, the Lord is uh, with us, man. It's, it's, and it's no fucking if, ands, or buts about it. That's it's, right. I mean, it's a beautiful thing, bro. We, we we know, like, the Lord is right there. The Lord is with us right here. I mean, um, all the time, man. The Lord wants his, his. The scriptures say the Lord knows who's his. And, and the ones that's the Lord, they're going to make it, bro. They're going to make it, man. They're going to make it. And it's no fucking, oh, I got to think about this. So, hey, we not straddling the fence. We all in. All gas, no brakes, man, for this truth, man. You know, all faith. Go ahead, bro. That's right. Uh, it's First Corinthians 11 and verse 31. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Yeah. See, so ultimately, the Lord is putting us through hell right now, man, and getting our minds ready uh, to be that purified goal, man. So when the time comes, all right, when all hell breaks loose, I know our minds can be able to be, our minds can be like uh, made strong, man, made hard, you know, to take the thing that's about to come upon this place, man, to see all the mass death, okay, people committing cannibalism, man, you know, all these different plagues, man. That's why the Lord's getting us ready for it. Yeah, because, uh, Great death is coming here, man. I mean, this is a lot of things are coming to this place where what well, the scripture tell you that uh, that the wisdom and knowledge is going to be our stability, and uh, the, you know uh, this this knowledge, like I always say, it James the first chapter, it tells you that this knowledge is going to save your soul. So if something is going to save your soul, wouldn't you wouldn't you want to put all your energy and might into that that certain thing? You want to put all your energy and mind into that, man. That's why it's good to say study to show that self approved. And if you study how you're supposed to, you'll be, you'll have full confidence in these scriptures. And if you was uh, crying day in and day out to get the hell out of here, you'll be more in tune with the Lord. Well, like the scriptures say, the Lord grew in stature and in favor with the Lord, the Yahweh Shai. Because when the Lord was on the scene, he, ever since he was 12 years old, he was he was in the spirit. And then when he got older, it just he just he had that spiritual power. You know, he had he had spiritual power. Why? Because he was in he was he he was the walking Bible, the walking Bible, Psalms 40 and 7. So if you if you in the like manner of your house shot too, and you invest your your life, your time, your energy into something, you're gonna become that something. Whatever you invest your energy on, you, you're going to become that. You know what I'm saying? So why not become like yeah, I was shy? Since we was at the beginning of the world with him, Lord with him, we was there making the world, creating the world back in the, uh, going back to Genesis, the the, the, the first chapter. If we was there with yeah, I was shy, why not? We're not going to get the glory with him? Yeah, of course we are, man. If we continue on what we, because we believe on yeah, I was shy. Look at this world. They really, they don't believe in the scriptures. Because when they think of uh, the person whom you call Jesus Christ, they think of some some goddamn Edomite, and we and we and we all know through the Spirit that the Lord He wasn't no Edomite. So if we have that correct understanding and we really believe in the Lord, that means that we was back there in the times where the Lord was getting crucified. We believed in, we was walking with the Lord, and we was teaching back there, you know, with the robes on, with our sandals on and shit, with the with our little staffs, and this, that, and the third. We was doing that. A lot of us was on those walks with Paul when Paul was 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 making his journeys through the lands and shit. And a lot of us was back with Jeremiah. And a lot of us was with the prophets. A lot of us walk with those men. A lot of us are those men back in these times. And it's just that we're in the end of the world, and everybody from every point of time in history is back on the planet at this time. Good. And it's more wicked than it is good here, man. So. The 144,000, those leaders, man, they really gonna, 
a walk a walk of a lonely uh, path, and they're not they're not gonna be liked. You know, they're not gonna be liked. But the Lord's gonna like them. So that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And yeah, who can lay anything to the Lord's elect? Right, exactly. So if the Lord's feeling you, who cares who else ain't feeling you? That's right. Because guess what? The Lord don't feel two-thirds of our people. The Lord wasn't feeling soft. So who gives a damn about who feels you, this, that, and the third? The Lord's feeling you, then that trumps everybody else. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. It says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Lord's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh shy that died, yet rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who also maketh intercession for us? You see? So hey, when we go through our hell, man, and you know, the world, they look at us through a carnal aspect, man. They, they look at us like, so we know we did a whole bunch of stuff while we're back in the world. Okay, and some people who know us in the world, they still hold us to that, man. But you can't lay anything down to the elect, because you may you may uh, uh, condemn this flesh, but it's the spirit, man. That's holy, that's the pure. Lord said all things are new when you come in your house, shot. Right? Come. So, well, man, all things new. We're, we're a new, pre new creature because we didn't have this type of knowledge in the world. This is all new for us. So we're, we're, we're totally different. We're new. And us... Uh, getting out, you know, that old man, this, that, and the third. It's a process, man. The Most High is working on us, bro. It's a daily thing. It's not something that you just, you know, it takes time. But the Most High is going to build you up to a certain point to where, like, hey, man, you ain't, you're not a part of this world. Even though you might have still some kinks loose and a few screws loose there and there in the third. That's right. But you're not like this world. You're not, you're not a part of this world. You're doing the work of the Lord. And that's why the scriptures say offend less because we're not offending the Lord. We're doing what the Lord told us to do. You know, we, we learn from our mistakes that we've made and we move on from that shit. That's what it's about. It's about acknowledging what we've done wrong and moving on. But that's why the scriptures say, you know, because a lot of men, they hold grudges and shit. And they're not able to let things go. Not understanding that we all have to still grow in this truth. It's about growing, man. It's about keep going on and growing, man. Letting that shit go. Learning from your mistakes. And when you do that, guess what? The Spirit of the Lord is with you even more harder. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Acts chapter 3, verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay? So that's what the elect are doing. They're repenting these last days, man, because we're welcoming the Lord, okay, to come back and establish his kingdom in the name of Yahweh Shin Yahshai, okay, and to purge out this wicked kingdom, man, you know, also, let me get Zachariah 13. Okay, because when the Lord comes back to purify, he's coming back to kill off two-thirds of Israel, man, you know, the one dying right, but he's going to bring the elect through the fire, you see? That's what we have hoping, man. That's why we're doing these things. Well, uh, Baruch the uh, Baruch the uh, fourth chapter. I think it's the third chapter. It tells you that, uh, that he's going to bring us to that furnace of affliction and make us more more pure than. Uh... Talking about that right there, huh? No, not that one. I grabbed this one. Uh, all right, this is Zechariah 13 and verse eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, God, said the man. Lord, two parts God. therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yeah, man, got a lot of uh, demons. Like, what do you want from us? Man. Like, what do you want from us? Anyway, go ahead, bro. And it says, <laughs> "Wow, first up and up." And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined. Mm -hmm. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my power. So two-thirds of Israel is going to be cut off, man. The scoffers, the mockers, okay, you guys that still have hate in your heart, okay. You guys are dying right, man, even in the soup, man, okay. You got to come, you got to worship the Lord in, 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 in a sound mind, okay, with a pure heart, man. That's what the Lord is looking for. And honestly, man, the Lord knows everybody's heart, man. You no know, scripture say you can't hide anything from the Lord. 
So at the end of the day, the Lord knows who's His. You know, for the rest of the people that don't, that are not the elect, they're gonna be burnt up, man. I know. If you can read that down, down at Wisdom of Solomon chapter. Chapter three. We could just read the. Let's read that chapter oh, oh, all the way down. Con, con. We could read all the way down, man. Con. This is a beautiful chapter because uh, we 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 have to go through that furnace of affliction so we could become better. So that's why the Lord tells you that uh, He'll make a man more precious than fine gold. And to make something more precious than fine gold, it's not just oh I'm gonna put it through the fire and get it right out. So it takes time to do that, man. That's right. It takes time to do that. Yeah, go ahead. We can start from the top. Of the uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three and verse one. It says, "But the souls of the righteous are in the hands of Yahweh, and there's no torment touch them." Right. So we're in the hands of the Lord, and that's beautiful, bro. However you may think uh, you want to do against the the, the the true man of the Lord, you're not going to be able to do it because the, the 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 they're in the hands of the Lord. Pursuing the Psalms 91, the Lord have them, man. Because we're in the secret place of the, of the Lord. That's right. Go ahead, bro. And it says, and they're going from us to be utter this Oh, Salakia. Verse 2. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and the departure is taken for misery. Go ahead, bro. And it says, and they're, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. That's right. So a lot of people look that look down on us like we just... <laughs> He basically, they look down at us like we, we don't have a life worth shit, like we ain't nothing. But basically, we're in peace. The Lord tells you that, uh, uh, what's that, John? Uh, you free when you when you get when you receive the truth. Basically, you free. Basically, you shall know the truth. The truth shall make, make you free. Yeah, exactly. So basically, yeah, we at peace, man. We, we don't have no strings to this world. We're not worried about trying to fucking be somebody here because we know this place, place gonna be destroyed. Like you, you people that really don't think this place is gonna be destroyed, you you want you can't rest at night because you want to be some fucking body here. I ain't gonna give a fuck about this shit. Man. Uh, Go ahead, bro. It says verse four, for though they be punished in the sight of men. Right. So look, when we get punished in the sight of men. Even though we might go through our trials or look down upon them, man, go ahead, bro. It says, yet is their hope full of immortality. That's right. So we still have hope in the Lord. Because the true men of the Lord are the, are the uh, Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah, they're going to believe in the Lord no matter what you may do. Well, no matter what you may do against them. Or no matter what. No matter what Esau do. No matter what goes in the world or whatever. The lights get cut out dark. This, that, and the third. The Lord's still going to believe in the Lord. Because... Well, look at Job. He still believed in the Lord. That's right. The Lord told his, his crooked-ass wife. His wife said, oh, now, you you know, basically, uh, you going to believe in the Lord now that God, this, that, and the third. Because that's how women are. They don't believe in no truth, man. She but, said, curse the most high yeah, and die. Yeah, curse the most high and die. And what did Job say? He said, how, how are we going to receive all good all the fucking time? Foolish woman. Yeah, the, the most high ain't about, the most high is about balance. So if you're not going through hell, then you probably ain't fucking right. Like something's wrong there. If most I ain't putting you through something, you, you probably, right. if, if you if you're so comfortable in this truth, then something probably ain't right. It's the Lord had to knock you out of your fucking comfort zone for you him to be really dealing with you. I mean, it's, it's all it's, it's it's a thing of always feeling uncomfortable with this truth. You're not gonna always feel comfortable. Go ahead, bro. Verse five. And having been a little chastised, they should be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. That's right. So this is the chastising part to where we're going to be found worthy. So that's why you have to get over your hurdles. Because the Lord is going to reward you for you keeping on going. God. That's why it's not meant for you to stop. It's, it's for you to get stronger when you go through them chastisements. Go ahead, bro. It says, as gold in the furnace has he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Right, the Lord's going to give us that spiritual power. That's man. right. That's yeah, right. We know that. We have power right now. The Lord is with us, bro. As, as the days wind down to the end, we're gradually growing in power and in knowledge and in understanding. Kind. All those things are growing as we get close to the day. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. It says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide in him. Right. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he has cared for his elect. Right, so it's all about the elect. Go ahead, brother. That's right. 
It says, for the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Ooh, which have neglected the righteous. Man. So, listen, what does that sound like when you're not doing the work? When you're not, you're neglecting the righteous. When you're not, when you're not doing the work of the Lord, you're, you're neglecting the, the, the Lord, bro. You're not doing, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're lukewarm. Because this word is righteous. The scripture tell you the integrity of the upright shall what? Guide them. So if you're not tending to this word, guess what? You're forsaking the Lord. That's right. Can you continue? Yeah, last, you can read that last one. Okay, it says, For whoso despises the wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. Right, because deep down they're miserable because they know ain't, they ain't got it. <laughs> they, they despise the ones that really have it. So deep down they're miserable like fuck. You know? Go ahead, bro. Come on, come on. And it says, and their hope is vain. Their labor is unfruitful. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. And their works unprofitable. Oh, wow, that's it. You got to read them. <laughs> it explains itself, man. Yeah, man. You know? I mean, that's how you're going to feel if you're not doing this work, bro. If you're not doing it to your utmost capacity. You miserable on in the inside, really, because the Lord didn't put the spirit on you to do it. So you like, fuck. You know? So that's why I like we're blessed that so it's a blessing the Lord has you fall. What did he say on Batman? You seen that Batman when uh he fell through the when he was a kid, he fell through that tunnel that hole. With Bane? No, when on the first Batman. That, that, what was that with Bane? I don't know if well, you started fighting with Bane. I don't know, but in the beginning of that Batman movie, he fell through the hole when he was a kid. And uh, Alfred was like, why don't we, well, his father was like, why don't we fall? So we can learn to get ourselves back up again. And you got to remember that, because uh, that, they put that even in Batman. So it's okay for you to fall. So you know how to get up again. So if you fall and you don't know how to get up, then you kind of fuck. But if you fall, then you know how to get up because you've been there before. So it's okay. Come on, hey, practice makes perfect, man. If you fall and then you get up and then you're gonna walk on that same path, you might see the same hole you fall in, you might know how to, you know, a maneuver around that hole, man. You right, know? but if you fall, you know, sometimes Jake thinks, oh, that's it for me, you know. Oh, of course this, not, this. Man. Oh, yeah, he, you know, oh, yeah, he, he's done, he's done, he's fallen, you know. Scripture says a just man falls seven times and gets back up, man, but the wicked will fall into perdition. So if a brother is still fighting for this truth, man, he hasn't fallen, man. You know, he got back up and he's still fighting. Yeah, but and that's Jake, for all of us. That's man. the thing. So when that time, when that day of mercy come, you know, you know, because the Lord said He gonna receive mercy. Who have received mercy? Mm. He gonna, you know, He him that will receive mercy. Him that gave mercy, basically. And blessed that man that showed mercy. So ultimately, it's how the how about Shemuel was shy. If the Lord is with you to 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 to, to keep you from going through things. And it's not it's not up to men. Yeah, bro, I don't really have shit as we get some else. Come on, Um, yeah, we basically covered everything, man. You know, I always like to get this scripture. Yeah, Revelation is twenty two. Yeah, brothers, yeah, we at the end, man. We're at the fourth quarter, man, you know. Really nothing else to do than to push his work, man. If you're not pushing the work, then you're an enemy to Yahweh by seeing y'all side. And the scripture say he that will not have me to uh, reign over him, bring him to me and, and slay him before me. So you're saying that you don't want your house out of reign. You're advocating for Esau's kingdom, man. You know? Just right, what it is, the Lord man. told you to feed his sheep three times, and so you really gotta feed the sheep, bro. That's right. That's right, man. But, you know, to end it off for you, brothers, this is Revelation 22 and verse 10. He said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Okay? So everybody's walking in their lot, man. You know, you can't, uh, you can't come... You can't basically go out the way that you have seen your outside program you to walk, man. You know, if you're predestinated to be destroyed, you're going to be destroyed, man. If you're predestinated to be uh, 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 given salvation, which is mercy, then that's your lot, man. You know, we can't choose who we are, man. We just we just have hope that we know we're the, we're the elect, man. We come before the throne boldly, 
You see? Because that's where faith is going to lead you, man. Kind, kind. And, you know, uh, just to add to what you're saying, if the, the, the elect and the ones that are really not about this, they're going to come in two totally different spirits. So it's the time of revelation. So that's being revealed. And that's all I want to say. Come on, Ak. Hey, with that, man, we pray you brothers are edified, man. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadas. That's right. Double honors to our elders and apostles who rule well, and peace and blessing to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Hey, keep fighting, brothers.